Hello, new video by Mr. Sky. He speaks directly. There are important videos on there for you. Link in description. The comments on that from women are so embarrassing. You should leave him. He needs to pay more attention to her. This, this, and that. Y'all ladies will sit on your phones all day, sit on Facebook, sit on TikTok. You'll sit in the room and you'll stay quiet. You won't go up to him and say, hey, can you get off the game and we, go, we can go do something? You just sit there and suffer in silence and then do shit like this thinking it's okay. It's not, that's something he cares about. How about he goes in and fucks up all your makeup or tears up a book you have or something? Y'all would lose it. How about you open up communication? Hey babe, you've been playing for a long time today. I wanna go on a walk or I wanna go to the beach or I wanna go to the mall together. Let's do something together. And I guarantee you, your dude would save his game and then y'all would go do something together. That's what I asked my husband. Hey, can you get off? Can we go do something? 99.99% of the time he does it. That shit right there is toxic as fuck. Tell me something that men do that women don't notice. They don't talk about their feelings. Everything that woman just said is 100% true. We don't talk about our feelings or anything that's bothering us because it'll be used against us in an argument later on. Just as she said, when's the last time your man was actually excited about something or told you he was excited about something? We tend not to because most of the time people just don't give a fuck. Here's another one for you. When's the last time that man was excited for his birthday? Or when was the last time you were excited for his birthday? Men get two days a year to celebrate, and that's their birthday and Father's Day. We don't get excited for either one of them because, quite simply, nobody gives a fuck. And there's some people that are saying Father's Day shouldn't be celebrated at all. This is why we sit out on our trucks or out in the garage or out in the shed all the time because that's the one time that we can release our feelings and emotions. Next time you look at your man, he's sitting in his chair, and it looks like he's either half asleep or just staring off into space. Actually, look at that man. Most men don't even realize we do this because that's the one time that we literally do not think about anything. That's the one time we no longer worry about the house, the kids, the wife, work, anything. That's our time to finally let go. Most of the time, we don't even realize what we're doing or that it's even happened. The next time you see your man like that, please don't bother him. Just let him be. It's getting to the point where society is just telling men that they ain't worth shit and never will be. It gets to the point where we just bottle everything up and eventually it's going to destroy us mentally because when we do let it out, the most we get told is it's going to be okay and they send us on our way. Back in 2010, I put myself in the hospital under suicide watch. I was put in for a week, seen a therapist twice and was told don't have those thoughts, given pills and sent home. We are being conditioned to where, in society, all we are good for is to provide, and that is it, nothing else.